A very good morning to all my dear friends. I hope you all are doing good. Today is 22nd October and I welcome all of you to the Hindu analysis of Study IQ. Dear friends, uh, today is Sunday. I hope you all are enjoying your Sunday. And yesterday, that was uh, 21st October, we celebrated, the country celebrated Police Commemoration Day. Dear friends, on behalf of you, on behalf of myself and behalf of uh, Study IQ family, I would like to thank all those brave soldiers all those brave policemen and policewomen who have sacrificed their life in in uh, protecting our society uh, dear friends uh, security is one of the most important thing uh, right because uh, without uh, security you cannot have you cannot in, in fact imagine any sort of development at all and uh, uh, thank you again and again to all this uh, brave uh, son and daughter of our country and uh, more than that i would like to thank the family members of uh, all these people all this brave uh, personnel of uh, police uh, dear friends uh, before moving ahead please allow me to introduce all of you to our pen drive and tablet courses for different exams like ssc bank upsc and other government exams study iq provides pen drive and tablet courses now the good thing about this pen drive and tablet courses is that they are designed by the best faculties of our country and they are in electronic format so that you can carry them with you uh, in your smartphones or your tablets or your computer if you haven't got it yet i would recommend all of you to get it as soon as possible and if you want to know more about it all you have to do is check out studyiq.com and uh, you have chat support as well on studyiq.com so you can ask your questions on this chat support and if you want to talk with someone regarding it you can give us a call on this number dear friends uh, the first item that we have in today's newspaper is pertaining to Spain and Catalonia now we have talked about this particular thing because it was mentioned in newspaper in the Hindu newspaper in form of uh, editorial and articles and I'm sure you know that uh, this portion this part of the world is known as uh, Iberian Peninsula Peninsula basically is a place is a piece of land which is surrounded by water bodies from three sides so here you can see mediterranean sea the second one is bay of biscay and the third one is atlantic ocean that's the reason why this whole gray portion is known as iberian peninsula regarding spain the capital is madrid uh, you can see it is sharing a boundary with france uh, italy is not far from here as well and uh, you can also see that africa right the continent of africa and this particular country here is Morocco Morocco and Spain are separated by Strait of Gibraltar right a very important strait here because uh, with this uh, small waterway you can either enter Mediterranean Sea from Atlantic Ocean or you can exit Mediterranean Sea uh, uh, you can exit Mediterranean Sea and enter into Atlantic Ocean so you can understand this is a very important portion here then we have Portugal here Portugal is uh, setting the border with Spain. So, this uh, are some basic uh, information regarding uh, the map or you can say geography of Spain and uh, regular listeners you would be knowing which part uh, of Spain we are talking about for but for the new listeners I would like to um, tell you that this portion here this is Catalonia here you have uh, Barcelona Barcelona is a big city it is a, a sort of capital of this Catalonia it's a state of Spain right just like Gujarat and Maharashtra are states of India in the same way uh, Catalonia is a state or a province of the country of Spain now uh, issues are going on between Madrid and Barcelona and uh, uh, we have a special video lecture as well on study IQ uh, that is uh, taking you through all the uh, bits and pieces or important details history culture and other items political scenario uh, what is the stand of European Union etc etc so if you haven't checked this videos out they are available both in Hindi as well as English right I would recommend all of you to do go through this uh, video of Catalonia that is available on YouTube channel of study IQ because this is a very important topic that is going on at present and uh, a question can be asked in your mains examination and there are many items as well that will help you with your prelims examination as well so do check that one out now uh, the news is basically that 
the the central government that is the spanish government has said that they are going to dismiss the catalonian uh, government they are going to remove this uh, separatist uh, leaders and uh, they are going to go for a fresh election to which new leaders will be selected in this part of catalonia or this part of spain uh, <coughs> There is a uh, Article 155 in the Spanish Constitution, and uh, this is something similar to President's Rule that we have in our country, right? If uh, there is any sort of this sort of rebellious activity, then this Article 155 can be uh, can be implemented in Catalonia, and uh, the central government has indicated that they are going to go with this thing. And the Spanish King, of course, you know that uh, there is no sort of that much political role of Spanish King. But the Spanish king, as well as the European Union, uh, both this uh, uh, group, or you can say both this party, have given their green signal to uh, the central government of Spain to go ahead with dismissing this uh, separatist leader and going for a fresh election. So now again, we have to wait and watch uh, what comes out of it. So far, uh, things uh, are okay, okay, uh, we can say. So that's everything regarding this uh, Spanish issue. Uh, moving on to another item, this is about linking Aadhaar with bank account. Now there was uh, some sort of media report that uh, that uh, it is not mandatory to seed your uh, Aadhaar account with bank, but the RBI has clearly stated that it is mandatory and it is mandatory under prevention of money laundering maintenance of records second amendment rules 2017 now you can understand here we can uh, we can understand from this act itself that money laundering is mentioned here now for those of you who don't know what money laundering is all about let me give you a very basic sort of definition uh, you know that whenever we have any sort of uh, uh, any stains on our clothes then we give our clothes for laundry isn't it we give it to ensure that uh, that uh, particular stains are, uh, are removed so in the same way money laundering is basically an act or you can say a thing that is done to convert your black money right into white that's what money laundering is all about and when you seed this uh, Aadhaar card with your bank, then uh, this can be prevented. And apart from this thing, there are other items as well. Uh, I'll give you a small example, uh, a couple of important examples, and that will help you understand. And because in your mains examination, you're going to be asked a question regarding the importance of Aadhaar card and seeding it with different things, whether it is right or not, or you have to critically analyze for that, you need some solid points. So here is the first point that Aadhaar card is also mandatory. You have to mandatorily seed your other card with your mobile sim card isn't it so mobile is the first thing mobile phones and with this we can keep an eye on uh, terrorists as well isn't it because that uh, it would be next to impossible we may say if not impossible next to impossible very difficult for a peop uh, for a person who is uh, not having in who is not uh, a citizen of india or you can say an illegal migrant it would be difficult for him or her to get other number isn't it so once we seed this thing then we can nab them as well this uh, uh, terrorist or other illegal people then you have uh, gas right uh, you have to seed your other with your gas connection this ensures uh, that there is no sort of leakages now when I say leakages I'm not talking about the gas leakage I'm talking about the subsidy uh, subsidy leakages uh, the corruption or many people eating away the share of the poor this can be uh, this can be dealt with when you see other card with your gas connection and the third item uh, would be say for example pan right pan card we know that there are many duplicate card um, there were in fact many duplicate pan cards and uh, many people used to have two pan cards so that they can uh, they can um, evade taxes and taxes are important we know it very well that uh, without revenue government cannot uh, cannot have any money in their pocket and uh, they cannot do any sort of developmental work so by doing this thing by seeding this other with different items uh, uh, government can save huge amount of money it is important from the point of national security as well so these are some basic details regarding it and moving on to another item and this is a very unique bird that you can see on your screen its name is tony lark and uh, the the unique thing about this bird is that it can copy or you can say it can imitate 
uh, the calls or sound of 34 other birds. This is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It can even imitate uh, yeah, shepherd's whistle. That means it can also imitate human whistles and things like that. Now, the birds do these things for various purposes, for territorial display and uh, attracting female and other things are associated with it. But uh, why it is important, it was mentioned in the Hindu. And the second thing is that many times you find this sort of uh, questions in your prelims examination. At that point of time, it may look difficult. Uh, but if you are up to date with this sort of important things, then uh, it is a sort of uh, cakewalk, isn't it? So this stony lark, where do you find them? You find them in the arid grasslands. This is uh, very important. Then you find them in the scrub lands of central and west central India. This is very important. And they are endemic. That means you find them in uh, Deccan region. So this, uh, these three things are important for your pre-examination. Moving on to another item. This is about butterfly. Now, uh, Singur area, you might have heard about this, uh, this uh, a small uh, district in. West Bengal and Singur was in news a couple of uh, months ago uh, regarding Tata plant, right? Tata, um, it was a car manufacturing plant that was to be set up in this part, but uh, as the court said that give this land back to the farmers and West Bengal government has handed over the land back to, uh, to the farmers. So here you find five species of butterflies now this five species here there are many species you find nearly 69 species but out of this 69 species you have five species that are protected under wildlife protection act 1972 so it is important just to have a glance on uh, which are these important species you have first one is tree flitter then you have stripped albatross then you have pea blue, pea blue a common indian crow and danaid eggfly these are the five species if you go to your if you go through 2017's pre-examination paper of UPSC, right, then you find uh, questions pertaining to this Wildlife Protection Act. And it is not that it was just asked in 2017. If you go back to 2016 and other examinations, then as well you find uh, these sort of questions are asked because of the, the way climate change is going on and the way it is destroying the flora and fauna species. Uh, many times you find this sort of species in IUC and red book and red list and other items so it is important for us to go through it so do try to do try to remember the name of this uh, butterflies right and uh, also ensure that they are protected under wildlife protection act of 1972 dear friends uh, you can see here three different festivals across three different states of course uh, their timing is different but uh, sagar festival was uh, is in fact mentioned in today's Hindu newspaper and uh, this uh, Sagar festival is this one here the one you can see on your screen this is Sagar festival it is celebrated in Pune it is celebrated by Gauli community on occasion of Pai Beach and uh, this is the first one the second one is uh, here this is uh, a very famous one because it was in news for a very long period of time there were uh, protests and things like that after this particular sto uh, sport uh, and it is known as Jelly Kattu. I'm sure you know about it. And the third one that you can see here is a sort of bull race that is practiced in Karnataka. It is known as Kambala. The reason why I have included these three pictures and why I am um, providing this thing to you is that uh, you could be asked a question as a match the following sort of question, right? You could be asked, the, uh, you could be provided with the name of the state or states and uh, uh, sports, right? Uh, so uh, you know that uh, from now you know that these three different sports uh, that are associated with bull. The first one is Sagar that is uh, celebrated in Maharashtra. The second one is Jalikattu uh, belongs to Tamil Nadu and Kambala belongs to Karnataka. So keep this thing in mind as well. Moving on to another item, 383 policemen are martyred, said uh, IB chief, right? Intelligence Bureau chief and uh, this is pertaining to the 21st October, uh, the day that we celebrate as Police Commemoration Day. And uh, if you go through these uh, numbers, then you see that 383 police personnel were, uh, were they sacrificed their life, or you can say they were uh, martyred uh, in this year, right? Last year, in fact, this year from 2016 uh, to 17. And this number is not a small number 
this indicates that we are facing uh, huge challenges uh, when it comes to internal security right if you go through different world reports then as well you find that uh, we are uh, either ranking third or fourth when it comes to internal security we are very much attacked by this Naxali people and we know the terrorist issue going on and all these different forces like BSF and ITBP and then you have CRPF this all belongs to this uh, home ministry and they are part of police set up in our country they are not part of defense system right they are part of police system in our country and they are the ones who deal with internal security and uh, many times we also hear in, in news we read in newspapers or in TV channels we see that uh, many trained police personnel are killed by many hooligans and many criminals isn't it and this is a, a big uh, sort of worry for our nation because you can imagine if a person if, if you have if we have in our country people uh, or groups who can murder even the policemen uh, then this is a big sort of worry for everyone for the society itself and uh, this day is uh, basically it is observed every year on 21st october to commemorate the 10 police personnel who were killed in hot springs in ladakh in 1959 by the chinese troops right here is hot spring for you you can see here aksai chin this is a very important geographical area in terms of india china relations and uh, security of our nation and this topics are directly part of your syllabus as well particularly the upsc syllabus you can see them and it is not only about upsc about other national exams as well this particular topics are very important so you can see here this is aksai chin this is a uh, ladakh uh, uh, region and you can see this is hot spring right on the border so it was on on uh, it was here where uh, in 1959 this Chinese troops uh, started uh, attacking our police personnel and uh, here you can see the present-day hot spring memorial again uh, from study IQ family and all of you I would like to uh, salute all these brave soldiers or you can say brave personnel now we uh, de-linked polls with reason right chief election commissioner has clarified why he or uh, why election commission has not yet announced the date of Gujarat election the thing is uh, we know that Gujarat uh, faced uh, some uh, very devastating flood uh, this year and uh, relief and rehabilitation operations are still going on they are work in progress at present <coughs> and whenever you apply or whenever this model code of conduct is applied at that point of time from the time itself immediately after that uh, the whole administration you can say comes under election commission so the whole energy of rehabilitation and relief will be diverted to election related duties and because of this thing uh, the people will suffer so to ensure that this work is completed first and then we can go ahead with election election commissioner has CEC chief election commissioner has clarified why he is taking all the time uh, to release uh, to not come out with a date of election in uh, Gujarat a legislative assembly election and uh, there is also election election are going to take place in Himachal Pradesh and Gujarat right but of course the Himachal Pradesh election is going to take place first and election commission has already said that the results won't be out uh, before the, uh, the completion of election in Gujarat so that it does not have any sort of impact if the results are out of Himachal Pradesh uh, uh, then you can clearly uh, understand that it will have a sort of negative or positive impact on the election of Gujarat and here is uh, one more thing that will help you with your understanding is that uh, in 2001 supreme court clearly stated that at least 46 days should be given so uh, you can say roughly one and half month before that you have to announce election date so we have enough time to go for it as well going on to another item and this is a very important item today prime minister narendra modi is going to he is going to inaugurate a project and this is a very rare project of its kind it is called roro ferry service now roro uh, uh, the full form is roll on and roll off right? that basically means that you can take your trucks and cars you can sit in your car you can you can uh, you can get on board of this uh, ferry right or a boat a big boat and this boat will take you via waterways it will take you to uh, from destination 
A it will take you to destination B and the first service uh, that is this first Roro service of India is going to start from Goga which is in Gujarat and from Goga it will take you to Dahij and uh, what used to happen till now is that if you want to go to Dahij from Goga and there are many people of this part of Gujarat who work here this part here so they have to travel all the way uh, via this uh, roadways and uh, it used to take uh, somewhere it in fact takes now as well it takes seven to eight hours right but here once uh, this uh, Roro ferry service will start uh, the distance or the time taken uh, to travel between Goga and the Hedge will be just one hour can you imagine this thing we also know that uh, if you are following if you are uh, following press information bureau analysis uh, lectures uh, that are provided by study iq on regular basis in hindi and english if you are following this thing pib then uh, you would be knowing that a couple of uh, days ago a couple of weeks ago we talked about uh, the importance of uh, waterways isn't it how we can how waterways is cheaper how it is greener how less energy is required and how it helps in, uh, in in competitive price as well because as you can see if it is cheaper then the overall price of goods will fall down as well and it will uh, result in less congestion on road and you can take a huge amount of goods right uh, uh, via waterways so uh, these are the benefits of waterways and uh, this will be applicable here as well and in future we can see many sort of roro ferry services uh, connecting many different dots uh, proposed gujarat uh, roro ferry services you can see here mudra mundra and okha so at, na at present you have to travel all the way uh, here right you have to go from here if you want to send something over here but then you can use these waterways and then you can connect uh, say for example goga with mumbai and other parts as well porbandar that is the birthplace of mahatma gandhi you can connect this port with mumbai so in this way it is going to help us a lot as a country it is going to help us a lot and uh, at present there is only going to be a sort of uh, passenger service but from 14th january as per the news or media reports 14 january 2018 um, during this time we will see that cars and trucks will also be uh, they will be able to travel uh, with the help of this roro service moving on to another item this is about tillerson now tillerson is a secretary of state secretary of state means he is a, a foreign minister of United States over there they don't say minister they use the term secretary anyways uh, he is going to arrive in India right on uh, on, on Tuesday and uh, regional issues could take precedence that means bilateral issues are going to take a back seat uh, this meeting is all about regional issue we know that uh, very recently we, we saw the launch of this uh, USA's or Washington's new South Asia policy dear friends uh, today I have not included the map of South Asia because uh, uh, if I'm not wrong maybe more than 10 times we have discussed uh, what South Asia is all about so for the new listeners I would request all of you to check out our videos or you can check out our PDF uh, lecture files and uh, help yourself with South Asia and uh, for those guys who are regular but if you cannot remember what is south asia then again i would request all of you to ensure that ensure and locate all the countries that are part of south asia this is very important for you and here this washington's policy is uh, focused on of course afghanistan right afghanistan is the main apple of the eye and uh, then you have uh, pakistan and india as well now the usa is uh, very much concerned about concerned about uh, India and Pakistan's uh, conflict because both these nations have nuclear weapons and the USA is thinking that this could uh, lead to a sort of nuclear war which is very dangerous for the whole world isn't it and the other thing is that Afghanistan is being uh, attacked by or you can say that uh, Taliban is still active in Afghanistan which is creating all sorts of troubles uh, for the people and the country of Afghanistan and uh, till now USA's policy was uh, it was uh, providing all the financial and technical help to Pakistan to sort out or to deal with this uh, uh, this terrorist but now it has uh, uh, USA has identified Pakistan as a troublemaker and now it is providing more support to India and the, the role of Pakistan may 
come down. So we have to again wait and watch. He's going to, of course, travel to Pakistan and then he's going to come here. He may also travel to Afghanistan, depends. But uh, the president of Afghanistan is going to be here on Tuesday in India. So, of course, all these three countries together, you can see that there is a triangle here, isn't it? So you will have USA, India and uh, Afghanistan, both. Uh, all these three nations will have a chat with each other. And uh, there is also a mention of uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. They are also known as drones, F-16s and F-18s that we are going to get from USA. Uh, dear friends, uh, this is the last item here and I have a question as well pertaining to this item. I have a non-iodized salt free village. Right, Kohima, a, vi a village in Kohima. Kohima is here. This is Nagaland here and uh, it is the capital, state capital of Nagaland, Kohima. A village belonging to this Kohima is declared as the first known iodized salt free village important for your general knowledge right very important for your general knowledge if you are preparing for various exams then you could be asked a question you could easily find a question on this thing so this thing is important please keep this in mind now uh, yesterday we celebrated right <coughs> beg your pardon yesterday we celebrated global iodine deficiency disorder prevention day and uh, on this day, this day, this particular village was uh, declared the first non-iodized salt-free village. Now, the thing is, uh, I have a question. As I told you, I have a question for you. Then the question is, uh, name a couple of uh, diseases uh, that you get uh, if you have a deficiency of iodine. Right? You have to name them and pass your answer in the uh, comment section of this video lecture i would be eagerly waiting for your answer we know that there are many advertisements that we see in news particularly if you if you are following dd news or D, uh, doordarshan or other government channel like rajya sabha and lok sabha channel then you find uh, that uh, this sort of advertisement regarding iodized uh, salt and things like that uh, they are quite promoted by central government or state governments as well with this dear friends i have a couple of questions for you here so in total you have three questions right one is uh, uh, pertaining to this iodine uh, the second one is uh, related with a butterfly species and uh, you have to name african countries through which you can see the equator right zero degree is passing with this dear friends uh, i end this discussion here i again I would like to remind all of you that if you don't have pen dive and tablet courses then don't wait for anyone just give us a call on this number and get it as soon as possible it will help you a lot with your preparation dear friends if you want to download this lecture slides then you have to check out studyiq.com or you can follow our telegram channel the description if you check out the description of this video you will find the link of this telegram channel with this dear friends uh, don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, if you have already subscribed then do turn the notification bell on share this lecture right this helps other students as well so do share this lecture with uh, or you can share it on your whatsapp or telegram or your social networking sites right facebook or twitter do share it uh, do give us your like if you have learned something out of this lecture pass your comments valuable comments uh, how you find this video lectures and also don't forget to provide answers for all these three questions with this dear friends i Again, wish you all the best for your preparation and enjoy your Sunday. Uh, let's pledge to keep our city and surrounding clean and green with this. I'll see you all soon. Till then, enjoy your studies. Prashant Mauni signing off. Jai Hind.